Welcome ladies and gentlemen, I am Falcon and tonight I am streaming the Magic from Wolfpack against DOF or the Defenders of Faith. Uh, they start out with the first map being Vendetta, they're going Swadia against Sultanate or Serenate Sultanate in full. Um, and let's start with a point of view from Defenders of Faith. They go with Erminas taking a great lance calf, which is very bizarre. Um, and a crossbow as well, which must have been dropped for him. Uh, they got two crossbows and one infantry, which will be white noise. I know white noise quite well, we play uh, much together, and uh, I hope he will play like very survivally tonight. Um, on the other side, we have the wolf. Wolfpack Brothers, which will be uh, Killer and Greed uh, being archers. Killer is known to be a very good calf, so it's kind of a weird setup in my opinion. Uh, Purcell Bloom and Movinator um, will be the infantry and slow naturally as he is the calf that he is. Uh, it's got a really good reputation. Um, I had to say that uh, Fozzy was amazing, like he recommended it to me. <laughs> so he's not playing right now, but he's an amazing bencher, I'll tell you that. Benches like no other benched before. Go half, trying to go on the ladder here. And uh, if you watched my previous stream, you noticed that a lot of people have issues climbing stairs nowadays. Just fall off and do whatever. Kind of like focused on the target, and then that happens. So all of Wolfpack moving up. They're kind of setting up. Uh, Killer is on. Has a small defense right here. He's got salt right there, able to shoot. Um, as well as Kohav, which is really, really. Shooting very very close. Slow gets a nice shot, um, and now Killer is gonna occupy Sod for the longest time. Wolfpack starting out very solid here. The archers are doing a lot of work, as well as Slow. He's been keeping it up um, the calf off for a while and going for that first archer. Sod is um, Killer gets that shot. So it's kind of doubtful what he's gonna do. I think he's gonna try to stay alive. Nice bump from slow there, and that's teamwork. That's absolutely teamwork. Personal and Movinator both picked the side of the infantry, but made enough gaps so that slow can walk through. Um, so that's really good communication. And if they can keep it up, um, I'm pretty sure that Wolfpack will have a good, good run in this match. Just want to point out once again, it's only five players instead of eight. Uh, it's the turn is called five aside, and um, because of that, um, I personally, but it's only like a point of view. I personally think that. It really comes down more to skill than actual team play. Uh, well, team play, yeah, of course, but I mean tactics. Like, you can plan out all as one, but you're not gonna do split push with only two people aside. That doesn't work, like, at all. Um, you can always try to go for the surprise ninja fella that comes behind, but that's pretty much it towards tactics. If you can survive and if you can get some kills, then it's the best you can do, I believe. Um, also, <laughs> being annoying as an archer <laughs> is a big factor. Like, uh, for example, if Greed is up here and the fight is all the way down there, before a nymph can get to him, it'll take like 20 seconds. So that's uh, open hunt season for him. You can get those pre-flag positionings start. 
it counts toward tactics and uh, you might get a few more shots which can always be a game changer all decided to drop back into the building. Go have still shooting. And uh, Defenders of Faith known to have uh, some American guys among them, but looking at the pinks, I can only doubt Artem. And that's bad. Bulzara has a higher one as well, but he's Turkish, I believe. Alright, so Killer and Movenator going towards the building and White Noise and Fake Lab being smart about um, holding holding them off right there. Fake Lab is a crossbow, I believe. No, he's a dismounted cap. Defenders of Faith have always surprised me. Uh, how much of tactics they have. Like, they have the weirdest setups and the weirdest situations, so it's always interesting to see what they're gonna pull up. Saad is running away, and it's Saad and Erminas, but Erminas is the calf. Ooh, greed coming from the balcony right there. No mercy. I think if White Noise wouldn't have made that team hit, um, might have been different in the Fortress as well. But these things happen. You saw how intense that was. We're switching it up so much and keeping a lot of pressure. If the fir when the first per third person joined in, like that changed it for Wolfpack. Especially with that team hit in there, it was completely Wolfpack's win. Arminos just saving up his gear. He's got um, a true team leader face in my opinion. Oh, he's lucky that no one was looking around that corner because there was greed with his bar. Right, so as I said, defenders of faith have the weirdest setups. And second round, then they have three calf. Um, the one calf has not spawned with a horse. I'm trying to make sense of it. Kohav's gonna be in trouble. He's gonna run away. That's a very nice a choice. Saw is gonna go as well. Slow just peeking around the corner, check out what's happening. White noise and Viclav coming back. Now Viclav is the guy that already was dismounted once. Or didn't spawn with a horse last time either. They only have Kohav as a crossbow, so he will need to shoot those horses down, which will be slow. Wolfpack dropping back. The flag has spawned at the fortress already, so it can only spawn right here or behind that wall right here. Just over the wall. We're gonna do a face to face matchup right here. Not much cover. That snow pile does not cover. You can shoot right through that. White Nose was a shield temporarily for Kohav. I believe Killer is still in the corner. He's shooting really wide. Oh no, there's salt back there. So both teams waiting what's happening. Oh, it's not the flag I hoped for. Uh, because now Defenders of Faith kind of have an advantage. Um, but that's being made up right here because I saw Reed on the ladder, uh, on the tower. Defenders of Faith just jumping over, and I believe Kohav should have gone to the other tower instead of there. He's not going to have a good view on the flag. 
What? It's okay, actually. There's two archers shooting down Kohath. He fell off the ladder. As I mentioned, a lot of people are having trouble tonight staying on those ladders. White Noise tried to get the kick while he was down. Comes back though and gets that slash. He's gotta watch out for those horses. He moved off the flag, which was not a good thing to do. Saw is almost dismounted there. He has to come back to the flag. Uh, Kohath is still on the ninja ladder. If he can get a shot right now, it'll be very, very helpful. White Noise dancing a lot. Almost gets a slash on Killer. Gets hit in the back while uh, he was going for slow. Kohath being the last player alive for 35 seconds. And he gets a surprise shot by Killer. Killer's been um, doing a very good duty on getting the surprise shots. As far as I've seen, like he's. I don't know, he, he knows where Greed is and then he like adjusts towards where the enemy team is and that's how he angles it. Or maybe it's Greed angling on Killer, but as far as I've seen, I think that Killer is the one that's most more mobile. Or actually moving a lot more around. Hermanas and Co have on the same tower and it's not a... That's against the rule book of um, competitive play in Warband. Never have your crossbows or ranged or that fact on the same spot. Want them a little bit open and have your infantry hold like right on the cross point. Kohath is trying to do that by coming around, but he's locked himself in as Greed is shooting down there. Ursul might actually engage him. And I kind of feel like there's a fight going on, but I'm not quite sure. Oh, that's why. <laughs> Go have to send the building. Killer is up top again, and he's gonna demolish their setup right now. Greed is crossing to the other side of the barn. And. Wolfpack really want them to like pull out. And I think that's what they're gonna do right now. Oh no no no. Because if, if DOF goes forward right now they're really screwed. And Wolf, Wolfpack can do anything they want right now. They have control. Flag spawns outside of the walls. That is a very good setup for Wolfpack. If um, Defenders of Faith can go together as a unit outside and just ignore their whole setup, then that would be good. If they fight there, they're screwed. And that's exactly what they do. Kohath running a little behind here though. Ah, oh, no, my camera. And they managed to get out, so this is good. If they can keep on backpedaling, it's good. But they gotta stick together. Arminas is running as far as he can. I'm trying to get the camera good here. Uh, Wolfpack is harassing Arminas as he is the crossbow. Kohav had no shield, he's getting shot down. Killer on a strike right there. And that is what a nightmare for Defenders of Faith. The, the archers, as you can see in the scoreboard, have done so many kills. Um, but it is not without. Uh, it could have been done without at least like the, the infantry and the calf player on their team right now. Um, Defenders of Faith are kind of lacking on calls, I believe. Um, they could win an infantry fight, so with the classes switching up right now, I believe that we can see uh, a different game coming up. But for now, it's a 4-0. Let me play the casual music I have. Um, and I'll be back as soon as we go live.
live streaming. Welcome ladies and gentlemen, I am Volcom and uh, today I am streaming, well not streaming, I'm recording this match because Twitch is having giving me some issues. Um, the match will be between Mudlarks and Polish Eagles. Polish Eagles are right there. This is gonna look unfortunate. Um, Hey, ladies and gents. Um, that was quite weird, I admit. Uh, I'm uploading the other match, and I kind of messed up my soundtracks. I was as I was doing it, so my excuses for that. Um, but bringing you back to the game that is currently happening, uh, it's Wolfpack against Defenders of Faith, Swati against Serenit or Sultanate. Um, let's start out with Wolfpack. Wolfpack has gone with two crossbows. It will be Killer and Greed, just as previous uh, set. Um, and um, Movenator and Perzelblum are staying infantry as well, and Slow is staying calf. Uh, no changes so far, even though they have the two subs on the side if needed. Um, defenders of Fave side, we got uh, White Noise. And Gatrick now coming in as an infantry. I think Saw has just um, swapped out. He was playing the calf. Um, Viclav as well. Now Viclav is still in. He's in the main calf. Kohath and Ehrman is uh, in as well. So it's only Gatrick that swapped in. And for, I believe, Sod that went out. Flag spawns, it's um, right in the middle there, and this is perfect for the wolf pack. Um, yeah, the wolf packs. They are still thinking about how to approach this. Greed is on the ladder, and Killer is gonna come around from the right side. Um, Defenders of Faith just camping on flag. We got two infantry there, and they're dancing pretty well. Strong push coming in at the barn side. They're gonna go for Kohav. Kohav um, has been told in TeamSpeak that he needs to jump off, and so he did. Um, 
So Killer now on top of the building, and he's gonna be in challenge, so it's easy picking for him. Unless um, Kohav would have been a threat if he survived up there. Piclef coming in with a nice couch, getting a nice slash there. Getting shot from greed. Um, and a lot of work happening here on the flag. White Nose pretty much kept it together there on the flag. That was good stuff. But with the help of Gadrick, of course, um, main prize goes to Vic left there. He did really, really awesome. He, he got so many bump hits. And uh, he's got two kills in return for it, so that that's good for him as well. Two kills is um, almost half their team, <laughs> if you look at it that way. Wolfpack coming around from the right side once more. Reed is looking for that shot, but he didn't get it. He was doubting between the player and the horse, I think, for a little too long. Defenders of Faith have this weird strategy, as I'm used from them, uh, of standing behind the ladder. Actually, that makes sense. You can't get shot from anywhere if you do that. So, Killer is shooting behind the rock, and that is a nice spot to shoot on the tower. Gets a shot on Kohath, and as you can see on the left side of the screen, that shot has about 60% of damage. Slow gets a nice shot as well. And that must have been from here, which is like a very tight angle, so I'm going to check out how that bolt hit. And the arm, he must have been like peeking around right here, that corner right there. That's where Slow must have got him. Um, so, Defenders of Faith are one archer down. Erminus will have to proof and show up with his arrow shots. On the flag, it's no problem. They got two infantry there. He can't be matched. With um, Venator and Purcell Bloom. Big Love uh, being a very good calf, going pre flag, raising it a little bit until the infantry arrives. Now, doesn't say much, but this has already been like 8 seconds, and that's an 8 second bonus you get. Movenator coming around. He's on the balcony, ready to jump. Purcell Bloom on the left, slow as shooting again. Doesn't get the hut this time. Purcell Bloom is told to wait a little bit, I believe. Ooh, but goes down to couch. And as an old pike, you really should have stopped that. Nice bump from Vic Left. White Noise absolutely murdering right now. He's going for Greed. Greed gets that shot. That's a good shot from Greed. Very crucial, as um, if Greed didn't get it, then. This would have been another event. It's nice circling right there. Uh, but gets trapped in between. Can he hold on? Going back to the flag, but that has no use. He has to beat them. Oh, and he was trying something nice there, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> archers <laughs> prevail, and it's funny to see that a crossbow would pick up the null pike just to go shield stun him. But I think that was absolutely the right call. What um, killer has done? Does he still have the old pike? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's still playing with that old pike, so he's got no sword. But he's a player who can pull it up. Like he's really. Um, like if you chase him, he'll just kick you, and if you stay your distance, he'll just like overhit you or stab you. So your shield breaks. Uh, 
Uh, once again, Wolfpack Gambling going to the right side here. Not much happening, so I can't really say much. Both teams are uh, really playing safe. I think Killer is aware that there's someone on the main gate, as we can see on the minimap here. So he's gonna move out. That was a pretty good shot, even though it was a miss. That was a way too rapid. And let's see what's happening up closer. Reed is in a very good position as well. Wolfinator wins his fight, and that's huge. That's absolutely huge. Kohav's gonna be in trouble here. Gadrick's fighting his own fight, so that's not good. As uh, Killer is now approaching him with that overhead. Killer absolutely doing great right here. He's been given slow two uh, easy kills and got a shot. And now he's going to support third assist right here. Or take it himself. Absolutely nice. He gave two assists and got two kills that round. So I was completely his. I was a little worried because he was way out of position. But I think he knew it himself and that's why he went in. Good call from him. And that brings us to another round. To 2 1 for Wolfpack. Um, Defenders of Faith switching it up, having no archers and they're going to be very aggressive here. They want to go for Killer but they don't want to lose Greed in the chase. The infantry are very split up. Gathering is kind of chasing a horse which is not good. You should go to, yep, Killer. So that's a good call. Viclav getting a first kill. I was worried about Ermanus going down there, but Gatrick kept enough pressure. Killer doing what I said, like keeping his distance and kicking up chasing. Thick left once again, I'm really impressed by this guy. He's been doing so much work for his team. Slow is kind of playing it out rangey, and I think Defenders of Faith made a good call of not going with archers because they, they felt like they were always like overpowered a little bit infantry wise. Just pushed over very fast, so having none of them and being the aggressor this time totally worked on Wolfpack. Slow is taking it slow. <laughs> Keep on going in circles. Oh, he could have had that one. Although it wouldn't have been kill because he got full health almost. It's very patient. Still got two minutes, and the infantry of defenders of faith is splitting off randomly, trying to chase the calf. So, um, yeah. Oh, he's stuck. Gets away with it though. And if he goes <laughs> and raises the flag right now and wins there, that would be funny. What a smart move. If he would have gone with the infantry fight right there, I think he would have won it. But he wanted to save his horse though. He's going infantry. Kohath made a smart move of taking down his horse. Getting that kill. It brings us to a 2-2. Two -two. 
and um, it's not the score they wanted probably, but it actually like ties it up a little bit more. So um, a six-two in turtle. Let me change that, and um, I'll try to play music uninterrupted this time until we go live next round.
gentle beings. I am back. Um, we are on the new map right now. It is the Serenades against the Rodok. And um, I think the Rodok are kind of a little bit overpowered on this one. Uh, I've used them well. Um, so with the Serenade, aka Wolfpack, we've gone with two infantry. Once again, same people. Uh, Killer's gone cap this time, and this is his class, I believe, so he played even better cap than he was as an archer as before. Um, I hope. <laughs> he might prove me wrong. Um, and uh, for us, they have the same setup. Now, on defenders of Fave's side, you got Ermina shooting once again. That's his role. Kohath is shooting as well. Saul is coming back as a calf, and Gadrick is now a calf as well. Viclav has dropped down from a calf to become an infantry. I'm very curious what this guy is going to do, as he was what I believe the carrier of Defenders of Faith on the previous map. Uh, so swapped out for um, Sod, who was on the bench earlier, is white noise now this time. Uh, we still have to see PD and Artem has to come in, as well as Bulzara and Fozzy. Uh, but Wolfpack kind of mentioned that they will come in on the next set. So we'll be looking for that. Killer is kind of stalling um, for some reason on the bridge. I don't know why though, he's got like a lot of horse hits right now. Gadrick coming around the corner. It's been training in calf a lot. I hope it shows off today. Uh, mainly know him as infantry. Been trained a little bit as archer by Leru himself. But um, eventually he walked down the dark path of the cavalry rider. Movinator and parcel boom jumping off the bridge, following the wall. And you got Greed coming around the corner right there. He'll be coming up to Arminas to shoot him down. So Greed has already started shooting. Arminas can't reload. And uh, Killer is on the flag right now as his horse has been completely uh, dismounted. Ooh, go half! Six shot! Very, very sick shot all the way from up the hill here down onto the flag. But he gets it in return by Sir Greed. Defenders of Faith won it because they stuck on the flag long enough. And uh, Wolfpack were kind of, they had an ID, but uh, it didn't really like build out the way they wanted to. Well played from Defenders of Faith. Well, they were kind of like. It was looking bad for them, they they held on the flag and that's what won them. Defenders of Faith are sticking with the classes they had. Um, I would say that's casual, but for Defenders of Faith that's really unusual. As you've seen, they got weird stuff going on. That absolutely works, but I don't know. I love playing against them as well. If you have a clan or you're any clan, definitely ask for I believe Figlav or Arminas um, or Kohav for that fact. They'll probably gladly take up the challenge. They're really fun to play against because you <laughs> they're really unpredictable. Uh, switch up classes a lot, switch up tactics a lot, and every round is just something different. Movinator taking a little peek. As we know on the mini map, they're all standing right here. So, of the two infantry built and two calf, they're really based on like holding and let that calf bump so they can slash on the Serenade side. That could be the case right here if Arminas and Viclav get caught out, which they are at the moment. They were cornering themselves in that little spot. Killer coming behind, catching the shield off. 
and the cav are doing what they are, what they must do, is bum slash everything. Some really good communication happening here. Slow dismounted it, he didn't go for the kill, he just walked on and tried to get salt, so. Shows you what a real team player that is. He's been having a lot of support um, hits in this mounts and such, as well as in the previous map. Absolute class to play with him. Moves out of the way for killer. And it's gonna one of them is gonna bump probably. <laughs> they were just like hunting one by one. Uh, Killer got it eventually, boosting up his score a little bit. I think he got three kills that round. So another one goes to Wolfpack, and they're very close to the tiebreaker. If they reach eight points, they can be on a very, very safe cushion. Um, and that's the, the score I see on, on the small corners of the name tags. Just seven for them at the moment. Reed is guiding it back a little bit. Movenator and Parcel are going back as well. But behind them is Ermanos. Stopping the calf pretty much there, but now he's out of position. Gotta go and help his team. It's two small, f three small fights right here. Piclaf wins his hiss, and Slow was waiting for that jump. Very well played. Gets a second kill. Movenator gets his double as well. Uh, sorry, Killer. And Kohav being the last person alive. Did a double as well. Didn't ma catch it on screen, I believe. Movenator was just waiting for his opportunity. Um, I think Kohav kind of like tried to overdo it. Moving it around way too much. But uh, it's a stressful situation when you're against a uh, good cav and a good infantry. So Wolfpack have the tiebreaker secure. If um, defenders of faith win every single round right now, they will end up having that tie. Only thing that Wolfpack needs to do is get one more point. But because the system is based on point system round differences, they want to get as many as they can. And so does Defender of Faith. They want to get all of them right now. Good fights happening here and a lot of opportunity for Calf. So we'll wait for the Calf to do some good kills. Kohav kind of lagged right there and made a very obvious team hit. He could have prevented that one, I believe, but. Must have been a lag spike. Slow is probably gonna come in. Killer takes it. Slow is keeping off the other calf. I believe um, Killer. <laughs> very nice jump stab. I believe Killer um, is the calf with the heavy tank horse, as he will be the infantry calf. And Slow consciously staying on the courser as he's trying to keep away. Um, the, the hunters in the other calf of the other team. So that's very nicely set up. They each have their role. Um, but it's 9-3 and that will be it for this set. And so I'm going to play some more music, change up the score and we go live as soon as they are ready. Dance until it breaks. I'll just.
Until the pain goes away. 